taking the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. It's Crypto Lightsaber back with another video, guys. So, we're going to talk about a project that has hit the market roughly about 23 days ago. Okay, guys, and um, this is quickly becoming a favorite in the DeFi space. All right, a lot of hexagons are taking notice. I believe it's created by a hexagon. I'm hearing that it's been created by um, some of the team or developers behind Hex as well. Can't confirm that or anything, but that's what I'm hearing. Okay, guys, and this is called Genius or Genie, right? So um, it's created by a, a man named Robert Genito, okay, um, who some of you may know. He's on YouTube, so you can go and check out his AMAs or check out his uh, his uh, videos on YouTube, right? But it seems like a pretty smart individual. Gives me that Richard Hart type of intelligence vibe, Jack Levin, people like that, all right, guys? So a lot of times when I invest in these projects, I'm investing in the founder, right? I'm invested in the person that's spearheading this thing forward, okay, guys? So my confidence is not always just in the tokenomics or in the actual product, but also in the founder, okay, guys? So... They both tick a box for me in terms of the products, which we'll take a look at in a minute in terms of the founder. All right, guys. So I do recommend you go and check out Robert Genito and, and his, uh, his, uh, what he says about Genius personally on YouTube. Okay, guys. But um, if we look at the actual project, it's pretty good, right? It's a certificate of deposit, AI-driven certificate of deposit. In fact, if we go to the actual Genius uh, main page, Right, it's the first hyper yield AI driven blockchain certificate of deposit. Now, without going through the white paper, right, because the white paper is very extensive, of course, I'm always going to say this do your own research. This is not financial advice. Don't risk more than what you can afford to lose. But there's a lot to cover in this white paper. It is no. <laughs> it is no short read, right? A lot of topics over here as well, guys. So, of course, we don't have time to go through the white paper in this video me personally i haven't even read through the white paper all right guys um i watch other videos on the project and i've looked through the dap and so on i actually own some of these tokens as well it's available on four chains you have the ethereum network um binance smart chain polygon and avalanche and eventually on Pulse Chain. So if you are buying this on the Ethereum network, you're probably going to get your free copies on Pulse Chain if and when Pulse Chain ever does launch something else that I'm invested in as well. Um, you know, and that's a whole another video. But the Binance Smart Chain um, chart is right here. I am personally holding some of this right now and I intend to hold this on Ethereum as well. But this one seems the most attractive at the moment because of the low liquidity. And the low market cap at 11.5 mil liquidity at 130k and the chart is looking super bullish haven't had a run out of this like i said it's only 23 days old if we go to the ethereum chart because me personally i'm interested in only the ethereum and the binance smart chain versions some people want to hold this on all networks and that is completely up to you there's a lot higher liquidity on ethereum which is understandable uh, 695k just under 700k and 14.5 million in market cap okay guys so we've had no huge rally out of any of these but they both look like they're in quite a nice uh accumulation range okay guys so of course not financial advice do your own research but like i said i am currently only holding the binance smart chain version and i do intend to accumulate more of this as time goes by um, you know, unless this goes absolutely crazy and I miss my entries, but you got to be patient, kind of DCA in. That's always the, the best way to do it. All right, guys. So, um, like I said, without reading through the white paper, right, you can see some of the expected APYs. We'll show you how you can actually state this project in a minute, right? But you can see some of the APYs right here. You have a basic miner and an advanced miner. Not sure why it's called a miner, but, um, you know it's called a miner okay so you have the basic miner which is paying it looks like it's paying approximately uh 1.5 percent um you know according to these stakes i believe these are uh some people's stakes um that have been registered in the system and then you have the uh, the sorry you have the advanced miner which looks like it's paying a consistent 8.5 percent approximately Okay, guys, uh, and of course, as time goes by, these metrics will 
kind of you know increase 100 days a thousand days so you'll be able to look at the overall averages on here all right guys and um yeah it's got all of these metrics right here there's a penalty um advanced iq shares uh basic lock debt lock uh, burn supply 610 million advanced locked and so on it's ba basically to create to create a miner right you're going to come over here and basically you can just basically choose your basic or advanced right um you can use bnb or you can buy genie and then create your miner okay of course if you want to buy that smart chain you can use bnb if you're on the ethereum network you can use ethereum i'd assume and so on all right guys and then basically you just put uh the principal amount let's say you want to stake one million uh genie and then you will choose your promise days so on hex there's 5555 on genie is 4444 and then i believe it will tell you how many um let's just try this uh 4444 4, 4. it will tell you how many iq shares you would actually get um on the advance and on the basic let's see if that's any different it looks kind of the same okay guys but obviously you would get more of an APY on the advanced uh, staking or mining, whatever you want to call it. All right, guys, so that's without going through the white paper. There's a thing called the stability pool, which uh, people are using it as well to get into the project. So you can use BNB or use, you know, your token of choice, right? BUSD or Genie. And basically, you can just come into here. You choose the amount of promise days and it will be, begin to create your, um, your Genie for you. Um, and then you can redeem it over here as you can see i haven't done any states i'm just holding this liquid at the moment all right guys um one of the new strategies that i've chosen to do going into 2023 right is to not lock up too many tokens because a lot of times i lock them up for a year i lock them up for three months six months and things like that and you get a massive pump during that time and then basically i can't even sell any tops right because i'm locked in so unless you're really looking to to hold whether it pumps or dumps over the next year two years three years or however long you want to lock it up right i think that you know you should really consider your strategy you can lock this up for one day 10 days you don't have to lock it up for a year or 4444 days but uh, me i've just chosen at the moment not to lock any up and um, i may have somewhere i hold liquid and then somewhere i lock up okay guys but i'm definitely not going to lock up 100 percent of my tokens going into 2023 that's a strategy that i've decided for myself that will work well uh, but you know there's always going to be that temptation to sell too early as well so that is the risk in that because you know you could sell what what you think might be the top and then something goes absolutely nuts and you feel like you lost out on a lot of gains psychologically okay guys but yeah me personally i just don't want to lock up at the moment all right and um, we'll see how things go and then i'll decide whether i change my mind or not okay but um you know each and their own not financial advice come with your own strategy all right guys but you have the stability pool and you have this thing called the hexodus i don't know what it is it's disabled at the moment okay you've got the nfts which you can actually get these nfts they're quite cheap and um, i would recommend if you're going to buy these nfts buy them on the ethereum network right i think they're around about the same price but um you know with anything to do with nfts i will always recommend the ethereum network over any other network or if there was no other option if there was no ethereum option and it was like buying that smart chain solana or something i'll go with solana but i don't think we have a solana option for the nfts here so i would recommend ethereum the reason is is because they're more superior to buying that smart chains uh nft market right easier to sell um more attractive and so on so you can actually buy these i think they're like 20 dollars 17 points 17 dollars right for this is for the ultimate pack of nfts and it's about four dollars for the booster pack and i think that this may give you more apy i haven't done the whole research but i haven't bought any of these nfts anyway but like i said if you were to go for it i think it would be no harm switching over to the ethereum network and buying them on ethereum okay guys but there was a tweet from the founder that was comparing his nfts with the the gen nfts with the zen nfts and saying that these will have more utility and so what healthy uh, uh healthy competition is always good for the ecosystem as a whole 
Okay, guys. So, um, you know, Zen, Gen, Genie, Zen Crypto. If you know what Zen is. If you don't know what Zen is, go and check out some of my previous videos. X-E-N, Zen Crypto. Okay, guys. And um, there was an auction um, which you may want to, uh, you know, use or not. Okay, guys. Um, haven't even looked here before now. But yeah, it looks like a pretty good project. Um, I thought I'd put this on your radar. Uh, but yes, I am accumulating this token. And it looks at a nice accumulation level. It had a pump. Okay, guys. Um, a little pump. All right, let's just do a measured move on that pump, right? Because it's not that huge. It's about 50. Uh, oh, 335%. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that was a nice pump. But it has pulled back. All right, guys. And... Um, yeah, it looks like it's in a good trading range at the moment, okay? Uh, it's not financial advice. So, you know, I am looking to increase my bag on Zen because long-term or even mid-term, right? You, you never know how quick these things can take off. But I think this could be a 100x token or more, okay? Um, I actually anticipate it would do a lot more, okay, guys? If it goes to a penny, it's going to be a lot more than 100x from here. If this goes to 10 cents, it's going to be a lot more than 100x. And, um, you know, I want to put myself in a position where even if it only does a fraction of that, stand to make a lot of money. All right, guys. So, you know, I really like this project. I like the look and feel of it. And it's starting to, to get some momentum now. People are talking about it. Okay, guys. I know that there was a sacrifice phase, which, which you can, um, you know, put all of this down to this selling action. Around the middle of December, some people made a bunch of money. They got in on the sacrifice phase. I didn't even know anything about it. I would have loved to have been in on that phase. But right now, you're not buying the top, okay? You're buying the bottom. And, um, you know, it looks like a really good utility token. It looks like a really um, decentralized project. Like I said, jump into the white paper. Do your own research. But I just wanted to talk to you about this project. Uh, let me know what you think about this project. Are you bullish on this? Um, does it look good? Be interested to hear your thoughts. That's about it for this video, guys. If you're not subscribed to the channel, do me a favor and subscribe. Like the video, which helps with the YouTube algorithm. Tick the little bell for notifications when you subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the very next video.